So then there's the eighties. Then there's the eighties thing. Eighties. Well, him doing eighties. I told you that. Right? Uh, what him doing eighties uh, sitcoms? Him, him, yeah, this is right. Yeah, doing Rod only doing eighties yes. sitcoms. Yes. yes. Submitted for your approval. Four elderly women sharing a house in Florida. One dim of wit. Another manly in nature. A third a common harlot. Fourth, something akin to a female Italian leprechaun. They are golden girls. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so much more interesting now. Although... Yeah, getting him to introduce... Yes. Yeah. The hold that that has on certain generation, I believe, ours. What, golden, golden girls? girls. It, it, it is undeniable. Yeah. yeah. Where there was a time there where I had to, had to watch it all the time. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it was He-Man nice. and Golden Girls. I mean, was, That's the way it man. is. Yeah. Yeah. And then when that yeah. came back on, you guys ruined the Jackie Chan... Fucking marathon. Really? No, no. You gotta watch Golden Girls. You already watched two Jackie Chan movies. We had a problem. We had a problem. <laughs> had had to a watch problem. Golden We found that it was playing like four of them a night on some channel. We we're like, yeah, I get into that. We had a problem. Yes. Absolute <laughs> problem. We were teenage boys. <laughs> Needed, <laughs> Needed to get that our Golden dose. Girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Picture, if you will, a homeless Italian eating a rentist and his teenage daughter. They find themselves on the front steps of a snobby, bony white woman. She quickly hires him to be the cook and the maid, and the entire time one question hangs over their heads and burns in their minds. Who is the boss? That's another one. <laughs> one that just you can't watch at all. You know, I would never go back and get anywhere near that show. <laughs> his name, Balky Bortakamus. He's come to this country seeking his kin, a cousin, one cousin Larry. They will have plenty of laughs, share adventures, but for now they remain. Perfect strangers. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one. You know? Yeah. A friend of mine was working on. We never worked it out completely. She thought it was a really funny idea. Shout out to you. Um, shout. Um, <laughs> Let it all out. Yeah. Shout it. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Again, if you get that, we're going to send you a pack of golden beans. <laughs> uh, what is that from? Shout it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm probably way too loud, and you've turned us off, and you're calling the police right now. Um, there's another way we're talking about uh, different strokes. Hmm. And if you remember different strokes, by the end of it, they were doing the most horrendous things to the children just for ratings. They were getting kidnapped. They were being... I remember this. They, they, they were kidnapped once a week. It was getting bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There, was, there was a point where two of them were kidnapped at the same time because the Kimberly's professor wanted to her to dress up and dance for her. It, it got to like Hannibal Lecter level. Holy shit. Yeah. Because yeah. I thought it started off with some of those things with like being, you know, afraid of... of, of no, it started you know. off as just, you know, it was, you know, the, the novelty of a rich white man, you know. Yeah. Dotton, you know, you know, two black kids and hanging out with the white chick, you know. That was just, that was the yeah. novelty of it. Then... It then they added a new kid now. because they always do that when the ratings uh, start course. going down, and then kidnappings had to happen. <laughs> Just all <laughs> day. Yeah. You know. So because of that, or that one was a picture, if you will, a place where kidnappings are as common as Sunday dinner. And we worked on the rest of it. I don't remember what, but different strokes. You know, yeah. Like yeah. So we're going to do that. We're going to reinvent all of the 80s sitcoms or 70s and 80s sitcoms. Yeah. Rob Serling opening and <laughs> closing. 